Okay then, definitely some changes we will talk about here, important changes, because we're getting closer now. We're about, let's see what time is it? It's um, 5.20, so by this time tomorrow we'll start feeling the effects. We're getting now in that little time window that we now to start we need to start talking about you know specific impacts uh, one thing we have seen this afternoon as we watch the hurricane pretty much non-stop and folks you've been doing this for a long time like me watching satellite images on tv and it's clear that as the days moved along the storm has made a huge rebound and is back to a category five now there is going to be some weakening as the storm approaches our west coast but the problem is, is that it's not going to be enough to really kind of eliminate any of the hazards. And if anything, the storm is going to get bigger and will expand as it approaches our coast. Get a pretty good sense of where the storm is uh, in relationship to us. And now, and you can see because of the cloud pattern here, you can kind of make out where the trough is. There's going to be a trough up here, and this is going to kind of follow the trough and kind of follow this massive weather and move northeast and and we've seen a slight track shift today and it, why did that happen the hurricane stayed on an easterly course a little bit longer so it, it kind of wandered out of the track forecast at 11 a.m and it's impossible for it to get back on that track force because it's already gone track forecast because it's already gone too far east it can't go the other way so once it gets out of the 11 a.m track and leaves it the only way to fix it if you will is to draw a new track and take into consideration how far east the storm has gone so you have to draw it from the point so there's no way to keep the 11 o'clock advisory or track in place it's because it's impossible for it to verify there's that little you see that little dip right here see that so once the hurricane did this, the 11 a.m. advisory is no longer really valid because it, it didn't do its thing. So they draw a new track, and here it is. And now it's too far east, so the track is now moved to the east, or in our case, the south. Uh, these changes are really important. I mean, they're huge, and we've said all along, I mean, 10 miles, 20 miles, it's all big because weather north and south of the track is going to be different uh there's still rain and wind both sides but the killer is the water and now the storm surge threat gets lower in tampa bay and gets higher south of us now this does not mean when i'm here tomorrow that i'm, I'm saying well this happened and that happened because this is how hurricanes work um and now the threat is higher in tampa bay but right now with the track south of us it is safe to say that as of right now, there's a slightly lesser chance of, of a big storm surge around Tampa Bay, including Pinellas County, and a higher chance uh, down by Siesta Key, and even higher now down towards Port Charlotte and Sanibel and Captiva and Boca Grande. So that's how things stand right now. So we get the whole, uh, we'll see if it, we'll see at 10 and 11 o'clock tonight if the hurricane followed along with the turn and is being picked up by the trough and also the whole new suite of model data that comes in this evening and see if if that model suite is now centered south of tampa bay so this is the type of thing where and this this is what is is why the evacuation orders have to be so so widespread because there's no way to know a day or two ago which way this is going to go so uh, the, the local officials did the right thing there's no way of knowing this track is going to move to the south. Regardless, there's huge impacts coming up for our state. That's the most important thing. Uh, here's the model plots, and there's still some over Tampa Bay, but the clustering now is just south of Tampa Bay. And even though, you know, we showed you that line, and you see the line, remember, people, the weather is not the line. <laughs> the weather extends way out north and south with the core of the hurricane still about 60 miles in diameter that's a pretty large area encompassing a lot a lot of people and on top of that now some of the rainfall numbers coming in this afternoon have gone over a foot especially tampa bay north again this is all broad brush because this has to be adjusted to follow where the core is imagine my fist my fist is like the strongest winds it goes this way, 
So this is not going to be the strong winds. It's going to follow along with my fist and then move inland to the east coast. Storm surge numbers will all depend, and this is going to have to be fine-tuned later tonight or tomorrow as we get the definitive track. But if the hurricane makes landfall, say here, 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 that's, that's, this is all going to be wrong. This is going to be wrong, 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 and needs to be fixed. But for now, we'll just leave it up there because we want to wait to get a bit more confirmation on what that final track is going to be. So more coming up at 530, but for now, throw it back to you.